Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're going to be going into the top 5 teams of the month for the month of March ending off the month with the new Ultra, Ultra Golden Freezer taking over the meta in a sense but definitely making at least a shift. There's actually quite a few teams that are usable but there's obviously ones that shine more than the others which we're going to disclose in this video. So let's stop this yapping, let's get straight into it. Right, so we're starting off this video with powerful opponent but what I want to tell you guys for the video skippers, none of the teams are in order. So with this team being first, it doesn't mean that it's better than the fifth team necessarily. Of course it might be but I'm not ordering this list just so you guys know that so keep that in mind as you're going through this whole video. Powerful Opponents has been a very, very good team pretty much since Super 17 dropped. Super 17 has shifted a lot by just adding Ultra Golden Freezer onto this team has basically forced Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan off the leader slot on this team. Even though you can still use him on the leader slot of this team, Golden Freezer just fits more naturally in place and it makes the equipments mesh a lot better this way. Much easier to run, much smoother. It just works without a lot of effort. So let's go into the team here we've got Ultra Golden Freeze on the leader slot, we've got Super 17, Cell and they're being double Zenkai buffed by Fusion's Fear 13 and 8 Vegeta but then we've got the HP buff here with Android 21 even though she's not Zenkai buffing Golden Freezer she's still a good option for the HP buff. Now what we're going to go into is possible substitutes that you might want to use with Zenkai buffs or buffers in general. So I'm going to go to my character list in general because it shows all the characters even the ones I don't have. Go to filter, going to start with Ultras press the character tag then we're going to look for powerful opponent so i think i scrolled past it there it is press ok press ok so you see the ultra options janemba is actually an option that you could run for powerful opponent i wouldn't recommend kid boo unless you go in 14 star and really and truly the rest are kind of just outdated so i wouldn't recommend it even kid boo is outdated so uh just pretty much stick to ultra golden freezer or who was there janemba let's go into the sparkings if we're looking at the blue section, I wouldn't recommend everybody because Janemba beats all of them. But out of everybody here, I'd say the blue Zamasu because he has endurance is the best option. Going into green, pretty much everybody sucks here. So I wouldn't recommend anybody here. Going into purple, we've got Jiren. Jiren's a very good option. I'm not even trolling. He is solid because he's got endurance. He's got blast armor, explosive green. His ultimate can put in where he can faint you. Lots of things coming out of just one man right there. We've also got the purple cell. He's got the explosive green. He can do long combos. He gets cover now. I believe he gets vanished back. And he has the death uh, activation thing where he can do damage, which actually does AoE damage too. But outside of that, I wouldn't recommend everybody else, anybody else here. If we're going into yellow, I wouldn't recommend anybody else there. And if we're going into red, I wouldn't recommend uh, anybody else that I haven't mentioned already, which is Super 17 in this cell. AVG is kind of decent too. Out of the characters I don't have, Super Baby 2 makes the cut. He's the only other one. He's actually very, very, very good. Out of all the other like characters I've mentioned, Super Baby 2 can fit the team. He is nice. Very nice. But yeah, that's pretty much powerful opponent in a nutshell. If you want to run it, this is how you'll be building it. Definitely a top five team for this video. Next up, we've got Lineage of Evil. It's a team that's pretty much came out of nowhere. A lot of people aren't happy about it, but there's also a ton of people that are happy about it. Simply because Ultra Golden Freezer has been a new unit in the game, the whole team got revived. Gold Freezer's back, first one Freezer cooks, and then the Zenkai buffs are just immaculate. So you see I've got the team here, it's pretty much mono purple, but it's purple purple blue because Gold Freezer have two elements, which is also wild. We've got Ultra Golden Freezer leader slot, first one Freezer, good support unit on the team, and Gold Freezer, who's another oppressive force that can be used to take out a lot of units in the meta. Specifically, this team works strongly against Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Also going forward, we've got Jiren as a Zenkai buffer, we've got Chilled as a Zenkai buffer and a HP buffer, then we've also got Final Form Cooler as a Zenkai buffer for specifically Gold Freezer, but there's things you could do to make this team just that bit more better. So let's go to the character list, we can go to the filter, we're going to change it, so we're going to take off Powerful Opponent, go Lineage of Evil. If we start with the Ultras, the only Ultra we've got is Ultra Golden Freezer, so you must run him. If you want Lineage of Evil to work, you must run Golden Freezer without a doubt. But let's go into our sparkings. If we're looking at the, the catalog, there's not a lot. But we've got blue here. I've seen some people try to run Final Form Cooler to give more criticals. I think it's more of a fun option. You can use them, but I wouldn't recommend. We've got Revza. The revival option can work. Again, more of a fun option. But he's actually probably better than 
uh, Final Form Cooler, but again, wouldn't recommend. I'd say stick to Gold Freezer. Going into Greens, I wouldn't run any, but people try to use this guy. I just wouldn't recommend it. Then going into Purple, we already mentioned Gold Freezer, and we got First Form Freezer, which are literally the only options. If it's not those, you're cooked. You can't run to get the team. Going into Yellow, I'd say the only option is this guy here. If you have him 14 stars, he's actually quite a tanky unit and can help you out big time. But outside of that, really and truly shouldn't be running the team if you don't have the purple setup, the exact setup I have, I'll be honest. Cooler, he's probably going to hold you back because there's no Super Saiyans. So, yeah. If you don't have this setup, you're pretty much cooked. But let's go into Zenkai buffs and, and bench. I didn't touch on that. So, I'm going to take off this. And what you're going to want to do is pretty much go to purple. So, I'm going to take off, uh, I'm going to keep sparking on, but I'm going to put purple on. And the other addition you could have is Turles because he buffs only purple. So, which is good, but you have the Zenkai buff. So, you could go for four times Zenkai buff for Ultra Golden Freezer. But if you don't want to do that, you can go to EXs. And with Super Saiyan Goku here, he could also be a good option. Purple, uh, red, and red, which is Strike Attack, which is good. Uh, this guy here, Mercenary Tail, Tao, however you want to say his name, critical for the purple and HP, which is good. If you want to run blue cooler, that could actually be something you could actually just have as a fun team. And then I'm going to change to blue for another bench option here. Uh, I believe these characters do buff blue and purple. I'm going to start with Android. I think it's 13. I can't see him for some reason. My eyes are not working. Let me turn on ex extreme. That's probably why I can't see him. Yeah, there he is. Android 14, my bad. Blue and purple strike attack 50%. And then there's Fat Boo as well over here. Uh, if I go to the Z ability, strike and blast defense blue and purple. So yeah, some good Z abilities there. Of course, they're not the best options, given that I've already shown you pretty much the best options, which is this team that I've got here. I'd say run it just like this. But of course, your equipments would have to be a factor to those teams. So yeah, that's number two we've got in the video, Lineage of Evil. Next up, we've got GT. Comment down below, UG4 is coming. UG4 is on the way, bruh. The devs are making it their mission to make GT consistently good throughout this whole year, similar to how they did Universe Rep last year. Let's go into this team though. We've got Super 17, best unit in the game, best unit on this team, of course. We've got Pan as a Zenkai buffer for Bomb Q over here. We've got Super Baby 2 as a Zenkai buffer for Bomb Q here. And just in case you don't believe me, he's Zenkai buffs GT, which is good. Also making it defensive. We've got G4, who I'm actually going to be running uh, on this team. And then we've got Omega Shenron, who Zenkai buffs, I believe, Super Baby 2. I mean, Super 17, sorry. So that works as well. But it's not the only team you can run, of course, for GT. There are other options, which we're going to go into right now. So character list, then you go to filter again, change character tag, then you scroll down to GT. So there it is over there. Press OK, press OK. We've got GT here. I need to take off the blue. Uh, missed it. There we go. So for the blue option, if you're not running Bomb Coup, just don't run a blue. The green option, if you're run not running uh, G4, don't run a green. However, Tag 4s could surprise you if you have them at 14 stars, but I wouldn't recommend it. If we're going into purple, Buller is a very good option. And Android 18 here, 17, sorry, could actually help you a lot. He's actually quite surprising sometimes. Going into yellow, Super Baby 2 is your main man, without a doubt. Without a doubt, he is him. And then red, you must run Super 17. I'd say if you don't have Super 17, you might want to reconsider running GT at all. But Super Baby 2 and Bomb Q could hold your back up, but they're obviously not the greatest alone without Super 17's oppressive force. People like to say this Trunks is underrated as well, but I haven't seen it more than twice since its release, so that's quite unfortunate. But yeah, GT is very solid in general. The buffs are all GT within GT. But there's somebody I didn't mention, which I'll bring him up right now. If you go to Extreme, there's a Zenkai buffer. I mean, a Z ability buffer, which is really good. This Goku here buffs HP 22%. More than a lot of HP buffers in the game. So he's actually quite the good option. If you wanted to take somebody off and you would heal a lot, have a lot of HP, maybe take off one of the Zenkai buffs or either Super Baby 2 or Pan. That's your choice. Or you could take off the Zenkai buff for um, Super 17 and then have the HP buff. That's also your choice. But... Again, depending on your star, depending on how you want to run the team, but HP buffs are generally a good option. So that's number three for this video. We got GT. Number four in this video, we've got Androids. Androids is a very solid team and they seem to consistently perform. But the team, for the most part, pretty much just looks like powerful opponent. But it deserves its own mention because they've got some pieces that you could switch around if you wanted to dedicate yourself to Androids. But more than, more than anything, their equipment are beautiful. 
But yeah, let's go into this. So we've got this Android 17. The reason he's on the team is because his main ability is super good. It locks you in for two time accounts. So that's a free rise and rush. But not just that, his green card makes you nullify endurance for five time accounts. So combining the two, it gives you a free run to basically take out anybody, which is good. Of course, a lot of characters cancel buffs nowadays, but it can catch you, uh, catch someone very easily if you add that to your team, combina combining it. So yeah, we've got Super 17, number two, best unit in the game best unit <laughs> on this team he's going to be doing the main damage on the team his green card's insane i don't really need to go into him individually he just cooks sell the revival layer is super valuable don't sleep on him he can be tanky he is tanky on this team obviously your stars play a factor but he's being sub doubles and kai buffed which i'll get into in a bit he also spawns a green and a blue which is dope and then we've got the hp buff but also a zenkai buff for the 17 which is good so you must have Android 21 hp buffs important but in the doubles, the Zenkai buffs, because the team's basically powerful opponent, we've got A Vegeta here, who's an option. He's a Zenkai buffer for 17 and Cell. Then we've got Fusion 13, who's a Zenkai buffer for 17 and Cell. So that's the Android team I've got here, but it's not the only Android team you can run. So let's get into other variations. So if we go into character list, filter, gonna say Ultra first, change it to Android. There we go. Any Androids in Ultras? Not yet, but hopefully one day. Cell, you gotta hold up your tag. Go to sparking here and let's talk about what we've got so we've got mvp 17 if you're gonna run a blue he's your man and he's actually pretty good but you can't ha have him at least nine or higher stars for sure going into green i wouldn't recommend anybody in green except like android 16 here he's actually a sleeper but he's melee orientated which can throw out the team going into purple if you're not running this android 17 you could definitely run this cell he's probably better option but I prefer the gimmick on Android 17, the main ability lock, because it comes in handy in taking people out for that short instance that you have them locked in. This guy's got explosive greens, which is good. You know when he dies, solid, vanish recovery. He also has long combos, cover no, which is dope. If you're running a yellow, I'd say maybe the gammas, but you've got to have them at least nine stars minimum. Gammas, but they're not a good option, I'll be honest. And then red, we already talked about Super 17 and so If you don't have Super 17, you might want to consider dropping Androids. I'm not even trolling, but yeah. The team in general works pretty well so that's number four for this video i believe we've got androids and number five the last team of this video we've got sagas from the movies sagas from the movies has gone up in stock especially because ultra golden freezer surprise surprise resurrection f he's from the movies so he fits perfectly we've got pan and red beast pan's a good support and red beast can actually solo when he's on movies he's getting double zenkai buffed and freezer's getting a single zenkai buff so let's go into the team Ultra Golden Freezer, of course, you know what he does with the comeback ability. We got Beast Gohan, transforms, takes your vanish, vanish a uh, restore consistently, and he's doing insane damage with his blue cards. We got Pan over here with the support, spawns a green card and a blue card, sub count reductions, and general damage bust for the team. Then we've also got this Broly here, Zankai buffing, what's his name? Golden Freezer, which is dope. Then we've got down here, Great Sailorman 1 and 2, they are also Zankai buffing Pan and beast gohan then we've got janemba here who's also zenkai buffing pan and beast gohan keeping the team strike oriented which is why it's so valuable just works very very well if we're going into other options now go go to the character list gonna change the filter so i'm gonna take off the android one go to ultra first then change the episode in this case to saga from the movies press ok press ok We've got options here. You're going to be running Ultra Golden Freezer, of course, but a second option would probably be Janemba and nobody else. UGB, sneak, but I wouldn't recommend it. Don't, don't. 14 stars, maybe, but I wouldn't recommend it. Going into Sparkings, let's look at what we've got. So in the blues, I wouldn't recommend anybody because I already spoke about Janemba, but sneak, maybe be Blue Beast. But again, I'm saying I wouldn't recommend it. Going into green, Pycon and Orange Piccolo are going to be your main men and nobody else if you do want to run a green. Going into purple, this kid Goku you got to have him pretty high stars. Wouldn't recommend it, but he can be a choice. Going into yellow, Gotenks is probably your best option. I'm not going to lie, but I wouldn't recommend the yellow at all. Then going into red, I would pretty much only say Beast Gohan and Pan who are already on the team. Everybody else is just not worth it. So this is Sagas from the movies. This is what you've got. The buffs are all in the tag as well. So if you do want to run it, you can compete in the highest ranks. That's number five on this team, on this list, on this video. We got Sagas from the movies. Now the last team in this video, we've got Sun Family. Now I did say the video was over, but I like to do honorable mentions because there's sometimes a lot of teams that could fit in here. 
Now, I generally think that Son family is weaker than all the other five teams that I've mentioned, but it can still be used and I recently did use it just to test it. It is quite valid. The main reason you'd be using this team is because you want to use Ultra UI, who can be an amazing counter to Ultra Golden Freezer, a top three unit in the game at this current moment. On top of the fact that Lineage of Evil is going to be used and powerful opponents, where there's also Cell and Jiren. So if you want to counter those teams, UI could be a good choice. But then you have to build the team around him, which could be a liability, but also Ultra Gohan's on the team, so you'll be safe. Bardock and Goku have the indestructible layer going into these three units, and they all have a Zenkai buff. So 4Q over here is Zenkai buffing Son family, which is surprising that he was saying it works for, for, for UUI. It's surprising that it's not GT, though, is what I was going to say. So UUI gets that Zenkai buff. Then we've got Pan over here, who's Zenkai buffs Son family, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So Bardock and Goku eat off that. Then we've got um, Ultimate Gohan here, who's Zenkai buffs, I believe, Hybrid Saiyan. So then Ultra Super Saiyan 2, Gohan eats off that. So everybody's got buffs, and the team is mostly blast oriented, even though this Pan over here is buffing strike it's just the one outlier but the zenkai bus basically covered the tracks there's no hp bus here unfortunately but the team works well because uui is going to be closing them in so let's look at other options you could run on sun family because sun family does have quite a bit of options so let's take off the episode then we're going to go to ultra first then we're going to go to character tag and we're going to go to sun family should be down here somewhere <sighs> have i i've passed it yeah there we go so Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Ultra UI Goku are your only Sun Family options in the Ultra category. Shouldn't need to be anything said about it. Let's go into Sparking. Sparking here, we're looking at the blues. You can run Bomb Q. Bomb Q worked very, very well because of his main ability, depending on how many people are alive on the enemy team, he's going to do way, way more with his alternate. So he'll be able to lock them in if one person's dead too. He's going to actually remove Vanish, Vanish as well. We've also got uh, Bardock and Goku, but I've already spoke about them, the indestructible layer, explosive green, two elements, which is also clean. Then we're going into greens now. I wouldn't really recommend any greens. You'd be putting yourself back. If we're going into purples, again, wouldn't really recommend any purples. You'd be putting yourself back. Going into yellows, you're also just putting yourself back. It's actually mad. So yeah, just ignore the yellows too. Then we're going into red. I'd say Pan, which is already someone that we've mentioned before in movies and beast are your only options really and truly um for some reason i just realized uh, no no they did come up i thought i was tweaking i was gonna say gohan didn't pop up but he did ultra gohan so yeah beast and pan would be your last options if you wanted to add reds but yeah for the most part this is what i'd be running because the zenkai boss are clean as well work very 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 clean very neatly just what you need so i'm not gonna go into it even more but yeah honorable mention for this video we got Sun Family. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know if you agreed with the top five teams that I've mentioned and even the honorable mention. The honorable mention usually can beat all of the top five teams. And in most cases, even in this one, it still can. But I generally just feel like it's personally weaker. But I had to include it because it can still be a team that can contend. But press the subscribe button. We're on this grind to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for watching the video, man. My name's Akashi, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man.